At the ready. We march soon. The missing piece has arrived. Welcome, Eivor. Lord, this has the looks of a Norse war camp. Plenty of stout-looking men. The fruits of your labors, Eivor. The kings you've helped have sent men and more as tribute. You have my thanks. Thank me later. A battle looms. <laughs> True enough. Your cousin awaits inside the tent of command. I'll soon follow to plan our next move. Ah, Eivor! Look at me, part of Flan's war council. Not bad for a viking good, eh? You have gained his trust? I wouldn't say that, no. He's a bit suspicious of me, in fact. But he needs my army, so he holds his nose. Of course he does. Viking smell. My king. We are ready to deliver Alec a weighty blow. But our enemies are now alerted, and will rally in greater numbers. Cachelor Castle divides Ulster and Connacht, taking it would isolate each from each. Cachelor is a stepping stone to all the north. It is an imposing fortress atop a steep cliff. It must be ours. But, for that very reason, Lord, it will cost us dearly to storm it. Loss of men is a price well paid. Victory will bring many more flocking to our cause. Take care, King. Your ambition may overleap your reason. What is your counsel, Eivor? Cunning over courage. A single spy slips in and breaks the gate locks. Then our soldiers flood in. It is worth the attempt. You seem to have a feel for this, Eivor. I select you as this single spy. Eivor? It's a good challenge. We have a scout near the castle. She may be able to help you.
Let's see you, old friend. Those defenses could stop the gods. Hi, are you Flan Scout? You are a bold adventurer to ask in these parts. Yes, I am. How might I enter the castle? Alone. You can try to climb its walls. A foolhardy move for such a small force. Is there a way to enter unseen? There must be a path below. Builders down there have reinforced the walls. A wily Viking could use their equipment to find a way in. I am that Viking. Aid me, be my eyes. By Freya, this land is green. Now to open the gate for Flan and his army.
lovely Don Avar. Cashelor will be ours. Avar, I have your back. I count on you, Cashelor. Hey, Bowlet, advance. Point you in the bushes. Yours for the taking. Sack the castle. Go, witch. Stand back, you puny dead. Die now!
away now! Slauncher, to a battle well fought and blood well spilt. To Ireland. Skull. Ah, another cup, my king? <laughs> Where's our court poet? This deserves a song. Eivor, it is essential that you speak with her. Kira, is she here? I greeted her arrival. She will build my glory throughout Ireland. Her song will be repeated in every village and hamlet. You, Eivor, with your keen eye, can give details of my bravery. The bravery of all my soldiers, for her to craft a ballad. I will give her your message, O oh brave king. Balith, you deserve another drink. <laughs> and you as well. Come back for another before the night is out. <laughs> then he come at me, eyes blazing like hellfire itself. Sure, sure he did. I saw it happen. I'd nothing but a stick. Well, I held it crosswise, and I hoped for the best. I tried to help. I was too far. <clears throat> I was. He swung and sent the stick. He grabs me collar. <laughs> He's about to land a mortal blow. Oh, I thought you. <laughs> Look him in the eye. Be my eyes, Zunin. You sing with conviction. It is the mournful song of the Lea Fall, the ancient stone you saw at the coronation. That stone, it seemed to... it... The legend is that the stone will bring woe. But the song claims if Ireland came to peril, the stone would rain a storm of wonders. From where would the song draw this wisdom? I do not know, but my mother sang it. My mother's mother sang it as well. And her mother, and hers. Back to the very first woman of the isle. The mere sound of the words connects me to my ancestors and this fertile soil. You're lucky. I've left my land far behind. You need not leave to feel the land change beneath you. That's why I'm stuck in this court like some sort of dancing goat. Surely you can leave any time you wish. I can, and I will. But not until Flan rules all Ireland. Is he such a great man as that? He understands that to be king is to be king of all. Though I'm pagan, he made me court poet. He respects the old ways. I admire your passion. Thank you for that. Not everyone is so appreciative. 
I appreciate you for all your qualities, Kira. I've got more than a fine voice for singing, if that's what you're asking. Is that what you're asking? I'm asking if you'd like to take advantage of a Norse who finds himself alone with a bewitching Irish woman. Ada, don't you have a way with words, Eivor? And I'm not saying never. I understand. I all but forgot. Flan sent me to remind you to begin his ballad. <laughs> he needn't worry. I know my purpose here. If it is as glorious as that song was lovely, Flan is certain to gain many followers. Good night, Eivor. I'll see you in the morning. Slan. Good night, Gira. Beautiful morning. Ah, Barith asked me to return to him last night. I should apologize. Curse of Loki. Speak, Harson! Who? Th that's the man, my king! You accuse Barris? Uh, it's him what gave me the poison. Seven silver he paid. Huh. The king of Dublin. M my king, I... I... Only the Irish were poisoned. Your Danes are hale and hearty. My lord... Flattering words and servile gifts, all to mask treachery. My lord, you know this cannot be true. Danes don't use poison, and Barath is no man of guile. My king, it was him! He says to me, poison the feckin' Irish, he says. He, he, he threatened me, life! Silence! Ah! Ah! Take this man away! No, 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 no. I do nothing! Kira. I chose to place you at my right hand because you see clear. Still, I cannot trust this Dublin Dane. My king, I have faithfully served you. Trust him better, Lord. I said silence. Danes often fight for either side. <sighs> Barth, stay within these castle walls while I consider your position. I must first find care for my soldiers. You well know, my king. I have a friend who can heal most any malady. Ah. One of your scattered coven of forest-dwelling pagans? Let me speak with her. She'll find a cure. Ara, go. Take a soldier with you for protection. I choose you as my soldier. Meet me at the stables, near the front gate. Barith, you should be grateful your head is still upon your shoulders. I am. By the gods, I am. Come, let us find my friend Deirdre. Who is this healer? She is a druid, wise despite her youth. Are you ready? I am curious to meet her.
Poor Boris. I'm disappointed that Flan even considered the accusation true. The poisoning had two goals. Disable our army and put the blame on Barith. But who is behind it? The soldiers cough blood. It must be the poison used by a druid cult, the children of Thanu. Who are they? When the Christians came with sword and fire, some few druids banded together. Eventually, they vowed to destroy the Christians. They turned to mayhem and murder. Many disguise themselves and live among the villagers. What of Deirdre and druids like her? True druids oppose the Danu, but they are scattered and disorganized. That is why I am so determined to help Flan to the throne as High King of Ireland. He will stamp out the children of Danu, leaving true druids to carry on. Tell me more about your friend. Deirdre is a druid I have known for years. We learned together. You were once I a druid? Was. There are many pagans and druids isolated in forests through all Ireland. This way. <laughs> 